consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction. Let's take those as givens. Um, and uh, say, okay, now what? Well, Schopenhauer says, stop having babies. <laughs> um, uh, that's just the will to life, and the will to life is an onerous thing. It just uh, leads nowhere. Um, Nietzsche's will to power says, I'm not taking that laying down. Um, I'm not saying that Nietzsche actually offers specific answers uh, as to what to do when you've decided that you're not taking it laying down. But he does point out, convincingly, um, that that will to power, that will to escape the onerous um, set of circumstances that we find ourselves in, consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction, or in, in the case of this discussion, is um, uh, just as much part of us as the will to live is. Um, if we're going to accept things like the will to live, uh, then we're going to have to accept things like the will to power, because the series of observations that con uh, culminated in Schopenhauer concluding uh, that, you know, formulating his idea on the will to live uh, is no less exhaustive or no more exhaustive than um, Nietzsche's uh, series of observations um, that led him to conclude to the will to live, or the will to power rather exists. It's simply part of who we are. And he says that it has to do with a lot to do with our ethical system. Schopenhauer, he would say, has, or I shouldn't say Schopenhauer, but um, the idea of Schopenhauer's prescription of not having babies is a kind of what he would call a slave mentality. In other words, I have been defeated by the circumstances around me. There's nothing I can do about it. Whereas the will to power says, I'm not going to let that defeat me. That's aristocratic ethics. Um, that says, I'm going to take power over my own set of circumstances. It doesn't say that we actually can do it. But what it says is, uh, the will to power says that there's something inherent in us that does not want to just knuckle under, even to the most uh, seemingly um, inevitable of negative circumstances. That's the birth of tragedy. Hmm. Meaning in the negative, meaning in suffering, value, goodness even in suffering, beauty in horror. <laughs> it's an interesting thing, but it's part of our mind that I don't think is going to go away. It's, it's simply part of who we are. I guess that's really the ultimate thing to argue. Are we that way? Are we, um, is the best thing for us to do to acquiesce? Or is the best thing for us to do to fight? Um, I think I know the one that I subscribe to, but I don't really know if there's actually uh, a right answer to these two. It just depends on what sort of person one is. Thank you.